Alright, so CES is usually dominated by like wild product announcements. Some you'll see on the market, some not. I'm here at the LG booth and there's been a ton of attention since like displays that roll in and out of cabinets. But there's a lot of other really awesome things at the LG booth and at CES in general that maybe you don't see unless you are here. So I'm gonna try to right that wrong and I'm gonna show you some of the awesome products that LG's got here at CES 2019. Before we start showing the products, I wanna thank LG for sponsoring this video. So if you got a laptop, you generally have it on your back and you're carrying it with you. So LG's had the Gram lineup, but it's getting super sized here. So there's a 17 inch version. And you have to actually like hold this, but this thing weighs under three pounds for a 17 inch laptop. Like to put it in perspective, it feels like LG just forgot to put the battery in or like it's a display model. You'd see it like a retail store. Obviously they didn't forget the battery. You've had a 72 watt battery built in. You can get up to 19 hours of battery life, but also the rest of the stuff that you'd want from like a computer you'd really want to use. You got the 8th gen Whiskey Lake CPU up to 16 gigs of RAM. Also pretty nice resolution. It's WQXGA, so that's 2560 by 1600 and it's a IPS display. You get up to a terabyte of SSD storage. I mean, you're not sacrificing anything for the weight. And also, I like to point out, it's got USB-A ports as well. So you've got all the modern I.O. with Thunderbolt 3, but you don't have to worry about living that dongle life. So this hot little box is the LG Cinebeam Laser 4K. So short throw projector, you don't have to put it very far to get the projector. Actually, if you put this just about two inches away from the wall, you're gonna get a 90 inch screen. And if you back it up like a little over seven inches, you're going to get a 120 inches. But obviously one of the knocks on projectors is like you need perfect scenario for it to work. You need a dark room. Uh, they've got it in the room behind us, but there's obviously a lot of really harsh light coming in, harsher than you would ever have at a house uh, here at CS. And it looks pretty bright. It's got 2,500 lumens built in. And you also don't need a screen. You can just project it onto a wall. Obviously the rest of the stuff you'd expect, 4K, UHD, you can also mount it on the ceiling. And just for perspective, like that's about two inches and that's gonna get you a 90 inch screen. All right, so just for a second, look at that. All right, so this is LG's new soundbar. Obviously it's not gonna go like this when it's on your wall, but you can put it either way. You can mount it flush on the wall or if you've got a component stand, you can put it on top and you're not gonna have any loss of audio experience. It can actually bounce the sound off of you. And beyond that, because it's gonna sit below your TV, LG wanted to make sure that it didn't sound like the audio was coming from like below your TV. It'll bounce it up off the TV and then out to you so it sounds like it's coming from where the picture is. I had a chance to listen to it. Obviously, you know, you're not gonna be able to hear it, but I can tell you it sounded absolutely incredible. It's got Google Assistant built in. You got other things like 4K pass through. It's also wireless around ready. And kind of all the rest of the stuff you'd expect. LG's working really closely with Meridian, so you know the sound is gonna sound pretty baller. There's also the other stuff like Dolby Atmos and DTS supported. So if you want a sound bar that's not gonna take up a bunch of space or you don't want to do a full surround sound system and you want the flexibility to like either have it on your component stand or mounted on a wall. All right, so the soundbar is not the only really new product for LG. The X-Boom line is new. And so we've got the X-Boom AI ThinQ. You've got a smart speaker. You've got a smart display. And LG's worked with Meridian like they did with the soundbar to make the sound sound awesome. And then also you've got the X-Boom Go and you've got different sizes of X-Boom Go depending on how much boom you want for your Go. We've got a 49 inch ultra wide. And just to give some perspective, this is what 49 inches of monitor looks like. I mean, I've got a little bit of monitor envy. Uh, this thing's got a 32 by nine aspect ratio. USB-C for power delivery so it can, can charge your laptop too. Before I tell you, try to guess the resolution. 5120 by 1440. That is a lot of pixels. So you also got gaming monitors here with the Ultra Gear. It's got the stuff you'd expect from a gaming monitor. It's 144 hertz, so you can actually overclock. There's RGB lighting built into the back of it that you can sync with either the audio or the video of the movie or the game you're playing. Got G-Sync technology, nano IPS and it looks absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of tour of the LG booth and show you some of the other products that they've got here. 
Is there any particular one that you guys are most pumped about? Is it the laptop that seems like the battery is not installed? And short throw projector? Is it the 49 inch ultra wide monitor? Or is it some of the audio options? Leave the comments down below and let me know. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger, and I'm probably gonna take a nap. <laughs>